Hello, today we'll be seeing uh, how to extend and uh, have a very good battery life in Zephyrus devices. I personally have a Zephyrus G14 and it's been doing pretty good. I'm getting about 12 to 8 to 9 hours on day to day basis. So, before we get started with anything, uh, open up Armor Crate using the dedicated button if you have one. Then, uh, get Update Center. Make sure you are updated, up to date, because the last recent update have uh, many fixes in our. Uh, CPU throttling and temperature fix. So make sure up to date. Then we'll close it. Now open uh, task manager. Control Shift Escape. Or you can use Start X. Then uh, click Task Manager over there. Then uh, just filter by name. Then you'll be having something here called as Armor Creative User System. This was a bug which was found in the recent update. It starts up and uh, it just uses up a lot of CPU and power usage for nothing. So how to fix this is open up Armory Crate and keep it in background and end task the user system. It's gonna start again, but it's gonna stop with a very low power usage and the CV usage. So that's how we fix it. You have to do it a couple of times every time you boot. After a few boots, it starts to be there in idle mode for if it doesn't work out that way, you should log out of your account in the armory crate and re login so that uh, it doesn't happen. So next is uh, Asus Linear and Linear Extensions. These have uh, quite a bit of power usage in the beginning. You need to end task these a couple of times, uh, to three to five times when you boot in. Afterwards, uh, just like the user system, it goes back to idle mode. So that should get things going. Then, uh, also, things we have things in the forums is that uh, getting set of registry and uh, editing to disable turbo mode. Actually, it really kind of works and uh, it keeps the temperature down by about 10 to 15 degrees. And uh, even the battery. Actually, you don't see any big performance drop. Actually, no performance drop in uh, using the 2.9 base frequency. And, uh, how do you do that? Get to registrate it. Then uh, go to HSP local machines. Then uh, system. Then. Uh, where do you go? Okay. Turn control set, then uh, control. Then uh, if you go all the way down over there, we'll be seeing some options which first. Control. Need look for power. Okay, there's power. Okay, then uh, look for power settings. Then uh, look for five four five three three. Then click that. Then look for uh, where is BE three three seven. Okay. Now when you get here, you okay, can let me show power options. Power options. And, uh, change advanced settings. Then uh, in processor management, you'll be seeing a fourth option after you edit the registry over there. That's how we control whether or not to use turbo mode or not. So right now we just go there and uh, click edit for history. The value there is set to one. It will set it to two plus okay. Go back to power options, continue adapter options. Then uh, you see there's a fourth option, performance boost. So click that. It'll be enabled in your device. You could either disable it or enable it, it's up to you. And it seriously does uh, have uh, temperature issues in uh, the performance boost. So, but you won't be having any performance issues in 2.9 gigahertz. It will be like the same uh, performance. So, you'll be just ha having a change in temperature. CPU temperature does be dropped by 10 degrees for me. If you want, I could just post it in another video. Okay, that's it. After doing all this, I'm really sure you'll be getting up to 8 to 9 hours minimum for uh, using in day day to day use at uh, 250 nits and uh, 1080p or 1440p doesn't matter no big difference okay thank you if you think it helped don't forget to like thank you bye